News 18, weather from where you live. We're talking a few showers coming into the viewing area right as we speak, coming in from the due west. But there's more rain where this came from. Back in Illinois, you can see it picking up a little bit here along I-57 and points westward. And also some storms out here in Missouri, even a severe thunderstorm warning southwest of St. Louis, showing that this is another very dynamic storm system that will pass over the next 36 hours in our area anyway, 36 to 48 hours that is. So you can see the trend is for the rain to pick up tonight, but the most of the storm action should stay out towards Missouri and down in Oklahoma. We, we do have a few storms in the forecast. We'll, we'll show you when next. Rain, though, uh, after midnight tonight, pretty steady developing. Rain into tomorrow morning, but around 40 degrees. Wind chills in the low 30s with a pretty strong southeast wind. This is the rain, the, the, the rain pump, if you will, coming in at us. Uh, not only uh, tonight, but in through tomorrow morning before it tapers to more showery action uh, during midday and early afternoon. That's good news for the Old Oak and Bucket game because I think we're going to have some breaks in rainfall for that. And then the core of the system comes in tomorrow night, and we could get a few showers and storms from that. So rain tapers to just a few spotty showers by one. But then the showers begin to increase a little bit late afternoon and towards the evening. But it's going to be a breezy to windy day and raw. Much of the day is about 40 to 44 degrees. We'll get up to 46 by 5. 43 at the start of the game with a few showers around. Breezy to windy conditions with wind chills in the 30s. But we rise into the 50s after 8 o'clock tomorrow night suddenly. And that's when we'll get some of the scattered showers and storms around here. Can't rule out an isolated sub-severe hailer or two. And then 43, then falling into the upper 30s on Sunday with a scattering of rain and snow showers around. So there's your steady rain, 5:30 tomorrow morning, uh, rain right through the morning hours at a steady clip, and then it really begins to break up and become very showery and spotty through the afternoon. But once we get into the evening, I do expect showers, even some storms, to pass through the area. Can't rule out again isolated. Uh, a little bit of hail here and there, and then it clears out a little bit tomorrow night. But then we're looking at a scattering of rain and snow on Sunday. If there's any accumulation, it would be Sunday night, early Monday morning, and it'd be very light on grassy and elevated surfaces. But a lot of wind, hear the wind gusts right up through Saturday evening. I think at times, Saturday evening, and then again on Sunday, we may have some gusts that exceed 40 miles an hour. And still windy even on Monday morning with the gust up around 30, with a total of eight tenths to an inch and a half of rain is expected. The next big system for us would be around December 9th or 10th. Otherwise, it's just a, a drying pattern getting into a chunk of next week. You'll see that 39 Monday, a shower or two Tuesday, up to 49 on Thursday, but a lot of wind and 42 Friday. So not as much rain next week, but I think once we get around the 9th or 10th, we're looking at another system with a lot of rain and uh, wind around, just like we're going to have this weekend. Okay. Thank you, Chad. Sure.